Hey guys, this is Squashy here. I want to talk to you about Virtual Fighting Championship today. It's a really, really cool little VR game that's in early access. It tries to almost be an in-between something like Thrill of the Fight and just Street Fighter because you're fighting in weird spaces like an office space. You do eventually go into a ring for some of it. Each of the fighters that you choose has different abilities. There's one that will help stun people, has a bit better stamina so it can take more punches, but you know it loses some of the offensive strategy at that point. There's just a little bit of trade-offs with everything. It's really nifty, so I wanted to break this down for you just as I normally do. This time I'm doing it over a phone because I'm away traveling right now visiting people. So how do the physics work in VFC? Very similar to most of the fighting games. You can move around with the control stick. One of the other things that it has for movement that's a little different is the ability to dash forward. It does need charging over time. Not something you have to physically do, just over time. You can't like dash, 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 dash. You have to dash and then wait a bit before you can dash again. Although I think it was mostly kind of a fun addition, I think it kind of adds a more realistic setup because I think a lot of people have trouble with just the stick movement as a whole in fighting games in VR it is not super realistic to someone who's actually fighting because if you need to run like you can kind of run if you need to just for like a short stint or if you want to try to rush in and get somebody so in that case I really like that movement option I think it's great the fighting itself is very similar the one thing it is that it adds that the other boxing games don't do is it adds shots that would be illegal in boxing in some ways so there's like overhead punches where you can hit them on top of the head so that's an option which isn't available in any of the other boxing games as far as I'm aware at least. And you have the ability to use your special abilities as well. In that case, that's where it also deviates from kind of like a real life setup, but it is really fun. The physics for the actual characters, you don't see the punches as well. I'll say that much. When you're swinging on somebody, getting hit doesn't really phase them, but they have kind of like a health bar that's slowly draining in the background and that's what's bringing it down over time. And so it, it's just the reactions right now are a little eh from the characters. Again, still in early access. So hopefully they'll start messing around with that. Outside of that, I don't really think there's too much else in regards to physics. BFC does host a lot of multiplayer events, especially for high schoolers. There's multiple high school esports teams that are playing BFC and they're having a ball with it. For that reason, multiplayer is one of their most supported game modes, just in general. Like that's, that's what they're focused on. In their Discord, that's the main conversation topic is playing multiplayer, doing multiplayer, developing multiplayer. So there's lots of options when it comes to multiplayer. And I think that this is one of the few boxing games in VR that does just a really good job at multiplayer. It's focused on it and unlike Thrill of the Fight where you have a lot of realism But there's not multiplayer or Creed where there's a little bit of realism a little bit of like flashiness It also has multiplayer, but this one definitely has like a stronger niche user base a set of people who really 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 enjoy playing BFC and for that reason they would give you like a tour of multiplayer You might be able to match with them You'd definitely be able to find them via the discord and you can find tournaments that would allow you to play further into that niche for that It's fantastic the multiplayer is not much different than the single player when it comes to physics or anything like that. Nothing crazy special. It just does what it needs to do and the game kind of gets out of your way unless you battle somebody. And so that's really fantastic. So the question becomes, should you get VFC? And the answer is, if you've liked what you've heard so far, just a little bit, then you're probably going to want to get this one. If you're looking for a multiplayer boxing game where you can get a workout in, you can kind of play around with different builds, per se, for yourself in a boxing game. And if you're the kind of person who loves like a niche community that's strong and does a lot of great work, then you're going to enjoy VFC a lot. Check it out, it is an early access, so I always have to give that tagline to make sure that you're okay with something being an early access where bugs come in and need to be fixed and it might take a little longer than it would for a general release. But otherwise, thanks for watching guys. I appreciate it. I know this has been a different format than normal. Let me know if you like this format. I'm actually just traveling, so I'm just recording like this. But let me know if you enjoy this format and I will keep it up. Thanks guys. Bye. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate your time and viewership. If you would like to join the community, I host monthly VR tournaments and community nights in my Discord. I would love for you to stop by, say hi, and get involved. On top of that, we are always talking about new news and events and social and casual sport VR. I look forward to seeing you around.